Hello and welcome to something, 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 something. A series about games <laughs> in which I will be playing them. Um, so today, my name is Scott, as always, and this is going to be Resident Evil Remastered, or Resident Evil Remake, or one of those R words that means the renewing of something. Renew, that's another, that's another one of those words. So I'm going to begin. First time I've played this. Yeah, he, he said the title of the game. So, there are there are many things to consider here. Subtitles we on, controls, we alternate, display. Probably just going to go for those ones. Oh, I didn't... There's so many questions. So many questions. I'm going to go for this one. For the sake of making myself look good while I play. Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine. I'm going to pick Chris. Because I'm a rampant sexist and I hate women. And I don't want to look at a woman while I play a video game. So, first time I played this, I did play the original for a little bit on PS1. I find it obtuse as hell. Did not enjoy it. reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. The victims were apparently eaten. This is very dramatic. Oh dear. It was a derelict? What kind of grammar is this? Oh dear. <laughs> Not Kevin. We continued our search for the other members. There's Wesker, I know him. Turned into a nightmare. I know that the original game had bad dialogue and bad writing, and it seems as if those have translated over into the remastered version. A derelict? Oh goodness. Who's this man? Who's this bandana man? Probably not important to the story. Oh dear, oh dear. She's just standing there watching. Maybe run away, maybe... I don't know. Maybe run away. No, no fall down. Alright. <laughs> wow. Chris, this way! I'm pretty sure this was live action in the first game as well, which would make it, of course, even better. Oh, there's a, there's a bar there for some reason. Enter the survival horror. X. I pressed X. Don't know if that worked. 
but things are loading. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. Mm -hmm. Don't know where Barry is. Oh, not Barry. Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's No. <laughs> what was that? Okay. I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. This is... This is interesting. Okay. Ink ribbon. Yes, I will take the sink ribbon, because I know that that's what you need to save. It's an old typewriter. No, we don't need to save just yet. So, yeah, the original game on PS1, and I, I played it on PS3 as well, as a PS1 classic. It's very obtuse in terms of how you play the game, because it's got tank controls where you, like... You have to use the arrows um, according to, like, the environment. So you'd move on, like, the x-axis and the y-axis to, like, turn around and move forward and things like that. And I don't want to play games like that. I'm sorry. It's not 1998 anymore. Tanks don't exist in this post-9-11 world. Can I go in here? It's locked from the other side. I don't I don't like the way the the camera angle changes like that it's cuz it does that thing where you're you're pushing the analog stick in the other direction so I feel like you could become locked in like an infinite camera loop like this down some stairs of course just you know it's locked there's an emblem of a sword carved into the lock. I just you just turn around. Oh, you can, you can weirdly turn around using the other analog stick. That's, that's nice. See, I'm pulling down on the the analog stick to go up the stairs. That's, I don't enjoy that. Okay, so where the, where the hell do we go? I know that this leads up to like the zombie. Lifting its head up from the dead body and stuff. Right. I'm back in the first room again. <laughs> uh, is this a door? Yeah. No. That's, um... It has. I love this ambient dialogue, which explains exactly what's happening in front of me. Chris is walking down the corridor, and now he's going into a door. Like, where, where do I go? real shame. Like this this just leads back down to the, the one door I can't go through. <sighs> yeah. These games are certainly fun. I love being sent down a corridor that I can't open any doors in. Um, can I go? Oh, I can go back. I can go. That's I have a feeling that you would never find you might never ever find that. I find it. But other people might not find it. Oh dear. Oh goodness. <laughs> okay. I don't know any of the controls because I haven't been told any. 
So that's good. That's apparently... Why did the camera angle change there? Good god. Okay, triangle. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear, help me. I'm pressing all the buttons. I've literally pressed all the buttons and the zombie's coming towards me. What did I do? Is there a... controls there? AML1. Attack R1. Okay. That's a... That's helpful. I can, I can lean backwards. And do a cool dance like Thriller. Ha ha. Wow, he's he's biting me now. See, this is can I can I kick him or something? There's literally no way to defend yourself against the zombie. I can't, like, he can't just be knocked back. <sighs> thriller, thriller night. Oh my god! Is there like a like a button to knock him off me faster? Apparently not. Oh, Kenneth. Was his name not Kevin? Come on, zombie. Is it dead? Does that mean it's dead now? Got a trophy. There's blood coming out of it. That means it's dead. So this is a really fun game. Can I get through this door? No. We just have to go back to Wesker. He's totally not going to be a villain in any of the other games. So we should definitely trust him now. Yeah, at the moment this seems... It's it's certainly more playable than the than the original game, but I don't I don't think it seems very fun to play because it seems like an adventure game that also has real time combat in it, which is not you know doesn't make for the most streamlined of experiences, I would say. Jill? Yeah, they just they just left in the scary mansion. I will take the handgun. Um, are those I'm gonna go through this door. I quite like these little door cutscenes, but I feel like the PS4 is powerful enough to not need a cutscene there. Woman drawing water. <laughs> okay. It doesn't, it looks like, it looks like vomit, like it looks, it doesn't look like there are any visible features on that. Dear me. Does it? Are they going to come to life? Is that a thing in this game? The portraits come to life? Um. Oh, there's something in there. I guess we move. Do we move this, this chest of drawers away? Yeah. Nice. Now we can grab... The something out of the woman's little water pot. Oh, it's a map. Okay. Yep. And I could just run there infinitely if I wanted, but I won't do that. I'll go in here. It looks like the mansion could come to life. It already did, and we're inside it. Yes, I didn't even know I was... Oh, 
to hear. There's a lot of stuff to worry about in this game. Is that the knife I already have open? Okay, so I can I can escape their grasp. No, which is good. Oh dear. Oh dear, shouldn't it came down this way? Oh my god, what the hell? Where's my knife? Did I unequip it? Must have. Can I shoot him? What like what is the point of being able to aim upwards? Oh dear, here he comes. Am I even hitting him? I am. Is that him dead? Nope. He's just, uh... He just fell down for no reason. The music stopped, so that would tell me that he's dead. Yes, blood is coming out of him. That is the signal. An old photograph sitting in the frame. Maybe this person was connected to the mansion somehow. You think? It's locked. An emblem of a sword carved into the lock. <sighs> Nothing else down here. Okay. I could read every painting, but I won't do that. Because I don't want to hear about nonsense any longer. That door kind of looks like an aisle. Okay. I'm going to go down here. Oh, there's a door there. Hello door, it's locked. An emblem of a helmet is carved into the lock. Oh dear. Um. <laughs> yes. I wonder. Yes. I wonder what could be in there. Probably something horrific. Alright, we're here again. I guess, guess upstairs is a way that we could go. I um, guess we just walked through the wall painting. Hard side. I'm going to go back and save the game, actually. Because I feel like if I go out there, I'm going to die pretty soon. Yeah, that's a handy door to have. A painting. Is there a door here, just like on the other side? Nope. Where did they go? Where did Wesker and Jill go? Like, why couldn't they just... Why couldn't they have just stayed in the foyer? Or the foyer of the building? They could have done that. That would have been nice of them. It's an old typewriter. Yes, use ink ribbon. I don't know how many ink ribbons there are. I know that there are a finite number in the game. And I'm probably wasting one of them right now by using it at the very beginning of the game. But I don't really care. Oh, it takes a long time to stop saying that. Okay. I'm not actually going to go outside. I'm going to go upstairs. And I'm going to see what's happening. Can I shoot the pots? Can I do that? No, I hate this. I hate that this is the way that to aim. Not fun. Can I reload? Apparently not. It's locked. An emblem of a swordfish is on there. I would love it if there was a swordfish in this game. It's locked. An emblem of an armor. They're very descriptive in this game. You can't make out anything through the darkness and fog. 
Oh dear. No emblem on that door, apparently. Okay, I can go through here. No emblem on this door either. Just, just some shapes. Just some shapes indeed. Okay. This is the upstairs area of that other place. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. I hope he's dead this time. I mean... If he wasn't dead, what would he eat me with? Can I touch this? This clearly important piece of scenery. You can push it. Mm. I don't know where I'm supposed to push that to. Do you think I'm supposed to push the woman towards the painting, maybe? Ah, I can maybe push it down there. I don't know if it's stuck on the, the banister. I think it might have been. Oh Jesus, there we go. We better go down here and see what that is. <laughs> I've decided that I hate Jill and I hate Wesker. Because you should definitely not leave your friend alone in a mansion while he's while he's clearly not functioning well. You know, he, he he dances to Thriller at the beck and call of any controller. He needs to stand up on a box to reach a clearly visible map. Okay. Will you take the blue gemstone? Yes. Now, I don't know what to do with it. And on receiving the blue gemstone, I will end the video there. Because... I don't know what to do with it, and I don't think I'm having very much fun with the game. I'm sure a lot of people like this game a lot. I don't know if I'm necessarily one of them, but who the hell knows, because I like Resident Evil 5. I think Resident Evil 5 is a fine game. And on that note, I have been Scott, this has been something, 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 a fun adventure into a horror game that I will probably not play again. What if I go outside? Can I do that? Oh good lord. This was not a good idea at all. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Definitely on that note. Goodbye.